Okay, one more time for our reader and our writer. <laughs> but also, one time for the fims. Or, or rather, one time for anyone that dates dudes. <laughs> Applaud. <laughs> it's hard work um, dating men. Uh, trying myself. Shit, I'm open to whatever. But I'm also picky, so, you know. Uh... <laughs> The first half of that story, this dude sounded like a role model, you know, because I'm pretty coy. And you only get what you want when you go for it. And me, I'm too shy. Like, rejection? I'd cry. <laughs> but it's always the dudes that can't perform that tend to have the best talk. Something to be said about that. <laughs> Something to, where, where, where do they learn it? It's like, how do you put your skill points all in the gab and not in anything else? I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna mull over this when I go home. It's like, all right, get a piece of paper, write your name on it. Write your number on it. Have condoms. Don't get too drunk. I don't have these problems. It's fine. Oh, that's fine. We've got one more for you. If you haven't done so yet, please pay a visit to our uh, bartender. If you are someone that is actually respecting your sobriety, I'm sure they've got stuff that you can have too. That orange thing right there covered in stickers full of water, stay hydrated. <clears throat> uh, yes. Story number six, formerly seven. <laughs> Neighborhood Watch, part five. <laughs> Written by Brendan Borkshiel and read by Lucas Andres Gorham. 